I started off in meditation actually very, very early. My dad was always meditating when I was little, when I was a little girl, and so I would always see him there. And it's actually funny because I would be really embarrassed that he was meditating. Like when all my family members came over, they'd be like, what is your dad doing? I kind of like rejected it at first and I didn't want to do it to this progression of finding meditation and actually delving deeply into it as a means to come into connection with myself again and to get back to the oneness that I truly am and, and find my source within myself because a lot of it started out at the beginning of life um, where I looked outside of myself at the people, the places, the things that um, influenced me. And um, when I found meditation and I started practicing it more um, and stilling my mind and just being able to concentrate on my inner landscape that allowed me to open up. That's how I did it. I practiced and um, I practiced and I practiced and it wasn't easy at first. There's this interpretation, I believe a common misinterpretation, that sound healing or healing in general comes from a place um, in our society that something needs to be fixed, like something's wrong with it. My definition of healing, in fact, is being able to accept what is happening in the moment without judging it and being able to recognize that a shift from order from disorder to order is wanted and then when I when one sets that intention then one can actually make the choices to start shifting into from one state into another from a, a level of a higher heart a higher mind and a higher perspective so the process of healing is being able to and sound healing for as a definition is being able to use toning and sound vibration frequency and being able to mix that with an elevated intention as well as a feeling that we have in our body and move from a, a state of being of disorder and incoherency to a state of order and coherency. So sound healing, I mean, we are sound, right? So when I figured that out and I really embodied that and I became that, I was able to really step into uh, what it meant to do sound activations and transmissions, channeling and sound healing. The amount of benefits that sound healing has, it's like really, it's infinite, it's unlimited. I mean, think about it like this, when you listen to a song, what, what happens? Like if you listen to a song you love, yeah. do, do you find a smile comes on your face or your emotions shift in the snap of a finger, yeah. right? It's like there's nothing else really that I've experienced in my personal life that can shift an emotion so quickly than does music, tone, and sound. It's because we don't just have our physical bodies. We're not just our physical bodies. We have um, many different bodies that are associated with, you know, like emotional body, spiritual body, like there's a whole bunch of different bodies that we don't know about and we're multidimensional beings. So it's like um, sound is penetrating at the unseen level and all of the levels and in ways that words um, just cannot uh, describe. The main instrument that I use is myself. I use myself as the instrument and so I actually fill into the space. So I really fill into intuitively what that certain space needs and the individuals in that space and uh, really just go by the seat of my pants and flow with the intuition and then I'll choose which um, instrument I feel would suit in that moment. Uh, okay, so that, yes, that was a, definitely a, a gift, one of the gifts um, that I was born with. I was very much separate from those gifts, um, separate from the power and the value of what those were, right? So I remember like, for example, growing up, um, growing up in the classical music uh, industry and realm, like a lot of that was based in competition and um, perfectionism and all of those things, not feeling good enough. Like if I, were, if I wasn't concert master, I, I sucked. Like that's the kind of mentality that um, was prolific in that type of um, environment. Although the music 
music is beautiful. The actual value of what's there is just phenomenal. I had to transcend all of that and really heal um, my own programs that were developed over time. One of my favorite, absolute favorite things to do, like I mentioned before, is movement. And we actually had a retreat here, and it was so transformational, empowering people through movement, and allowed people to just experience levels of freedom and bliss in the present moment. As individual beings, we also have our own souls. We also have our own personalities, and we also have our own identities. And so being able to really concentrate on the inner landscape, so being able to find a sense of wholeness first within, you come into more wholeness within yourself, starting from the inside out, I think is really important message for people to harness the essence within yourself. I'm Shani Cotton. I'm a transformationalist, sound activator, and just overall multidimensional and divine being, just like yourself, here to expand human consciousness and be a change, and I'm so passionate about it, and I can't wait to work with you.